All right, y'all. You know, sometimes things can still fly past you and you don't catch them. Maybe because your mind is dis distracted on other things in life, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, the other day when Tweedle Deedle Deedle, dumb, what's her name? I was saying that this man here had, you know, did, posted up about her or whatever. It occurred to me, yeah, I had seen that, and that's when I went back to go check it out. But it slipped my mind that I've never been able to see his community tab under my regular profile. And I am under my regular profile. I've never figured out how he had it where I couldn't see it. But I could go under my backup profile and I could see it. Either or. It slipped my mind. It didn't occur to me that that was, you know, going on. Because I really hadn't come over here and looked in a long time. So, when they were telling me, did you see this, you know, two days ago, talking about that I'm at the hotel again or whatever. Let's see. You know, and here I am commenting but see he still has me hidden so I guess that maybe that's the difference between hidden and blocked I'm not real sure you know um, but we have all these silly people and you know Dana I I appreciate you you know and I, I, I gotta you know I gotta say I did say I was extra mad because I was gonna have I was standing up for this man saying that he didn't do what he was being accused of. But you know, it didn't occur to me why he did this even after the fact. Okay? Thank you. Now, this goofy though, right here, she got me a little confused. Ty is TV. She said, Oh child, of we got paid for snitching, guessing I would be rich. So, if I translate your Ebonics with my Rosetta program, that means you're a snitch, right? If you would have got paid for being a snitch, you would be rich. It means you're, you're a snitch, which means you're also a liar because, two comments below that, you said on your block in Los Angeles, we don't snitch. Taya, I got news for you. I know a lot about Los Angeles. They don't talk like that around there. So unless you're special and not supposed to be on the internet, I'm doubting you're from there. Unless you just showed up. And it wasn't on a boat, because they don't talk like that from there, down below either. Who who you think I'm paying? Cause you ain't showed shit. Let me write that. Now, this one here, we're gonna have to get her a special package for my. I just didn't even snap. Now, um, Regina here, who's all about my business, she says that I need to take my money to hurry up and move because, damn, I've been packing for and moving for a month. Well, my response to Miss Thang is, see, a very few of us left on Earth have been married for a few decades to the same person and have created many, many memories together, not just in our minds, but also around our home. See, we don't just grab some clothes and throw them in trash bags and skip out on the rent type of thing. See, packing and moving is much more than what you may be used to. But since you are paying so much attention to my life, try taking some notes so you can improve on yours. Let's see. Sissy Thornhill. Try looking at the video that shows Big Black Beat walking in the hotel that everybody thought it was J Money. Who's everybody? I know who J Money is. I don't know who everybody else is, so I don't know who y'all are thinking is J Money, but I know who J Money is. 
He was looking, J Money, at the hotel looking for Kanika after the text to someone in the hotel. No, he didn't. That she saw she was at the back door where you see the water bottle on the bench. When employees come down the service elevator with the surveillance equipment to, on a cart. Oh my God. You know what, little girl? Bless your poor little heart. You are so confused. You, the, what you're mentioning does not even connect together. First off, there's no camera at the back door, so nobody would ever see who comes in or out the back door, much less to see if there's a bench or some water there. Jay Money never came in through the back side. He always came in through the lobby. Um, nobody can take surveillance equipment anywhere do you not comprehend what the footage camera room is it's upstairs you know at the lobby behind the front desk you know where everybody's going in and out to watch the footage did you not see that that's where it's located there are no tapes it's all digital it's up in the clouds I'm, I'm really, I'm trying to read this over and over because I'm not understanding. You said, I was wondering the same thing if that big black man walking in the hallway headed to one of those parties that was held there. There was a white woman with him as he proceeded to whatever floor party they were attending. I thought that female with him was Chloe, but I never looked into it. Oh, my, 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 my. Now I got to have to help this one. All right, I had to just stop right there and help this person because they seem very lost. You see, Trey Gang won't show you the official footage. He shows you videos that he's hijacked off of other people. This is the official footage. We know because it's on them, a media player that it comes downloaded with. And the red boxes don't mean nothing about no damn editing. Only thing that means is that People that are saying it to you, they think that you're dumb enough to believe them and you won't check it out yourself. Now, again, my husband is six foot. He's not bald. And he's between 145, maybe 150 pounds. That man is way more than that. But also... My hair is about three to four times thicker than hers. It's not all one length, so it would not go in a ponytail like that. I keep my hair cut and layered, feathered, and thinned. There's so many different lengths of hair, it could never go in a rubber band. And even if I tried, the rubber band usually ends up breaking. I don't wear my hair in rubber bands, pulled up, or anything like that. Now, we can't see how tall this person is. But I could show you something that's close to it. I'm five foot four on my license. But in reality, I'm five two. Or just a little under five two, actually. I have scoliosis. I've been shrinking for the last 15 years. Okay? Look it up. You can spell that high. All right? Now, this head right here is the top of that lady's head. It's picked up on the camera. You're going to see the bald-headed guy right there. Picks up his head. Now, we don't know who they are, so we don't know how tall they are. But we can tell where they came from and how I picked them up. Now, we're going to jump over here. To Wayne Anderson. <clears throat> He's five foot seven. Okay? He was at the party that night. Okay, right here you got Jonathan Johnson, which was Sticks. 
He's five foot six. This is Jonathan. Right here. Okay. Try to keep him in mind. There's only six vice lords there. Okay, the other guy, Wayne Anderson, he's this one right here. So the two you're going to concentrate on is Wayne Anderson, Jonathan Johnson. When they pass the lobby camera, he's 5'7", he's 5'6". I'm three to four inches shorter than them. You can understand that. Okay. This is where they're going to pass under the camera here. You see, it kind of went fast. Hold on. Dwayne's going to pass first right here. Like I said, he's spot there. He is right there. This is Kobe. He's 5'7". Kobe's quite a bit shorter than him. Hopefully you can see how much difference there is in height. See if we can catch uh, Jonathan Johnson. He's five foot six. That's cocky. Hollywood. Sticks. Cocky. I see Jonathan's white jacket right there. Again, this is Wayne Anderson right here. Five foot seven. Again, my license says five four, even though I'm five two. You do the math. But anyway, getting back to this. Let's see. You made me laugh somewhere on here, Mama J. Let me see. I think this is the one that says, If the lady on the footage is meant to be Chloe, then she is super one woman and on something better than that icky, icky good stuff. Isn't it miraculous she has cracked an anti-age serum better than any human I've ever known? F my life, she's has managed to go from a woman in her mid-30s, early 40s, to much older-looking woman all in three, nearly four years. This must have had a nose job, too. I wonder what her secret is. Exactly. Now, the bitch that worked at the front desk, okay? She's about four foot something. And then Heather says, this is literally the dumbest distraction move I've ever seen. It's not Cassie. But at this point, it's like put up or shut up with this foolery. It's really beating a dead horse, but here you are still banging on it. But I'm really curious, what are the importance of this woman of the footage that you know of, Aunt Cassie? What did she do besides even walk to the hotel? I mean, come on. This is childish, immature, and silly. Even you can do better. Move on. 
Mama J says, have you forgotten she walked in with me and I was black, bald-headed man in 2017, not letting anybody in on my secret, though. Last night, anyway, on Hell of a Chick's Live, when she was talking about this, I, like I said, sometimes I'm not swift with stuff that stands right in front of me when it has to do with me and my life. And I snapped. I was like, that's why he put that up there. I get it now. Because again, two days ago it says, right? What does this say? Oh, I guess I can show you the timestamp. Two days ago is what he did. So two days ago was on the 10th. On the 7th, I put up a video. Guess he didn't like it. I did, you know, when I made the video, I was wondering whether or not he was going to watch and comment. But then I got distracted with the buffoonery over there with Tweedledum. But let's take a listen and see if this sounds familiar to any of his videos that he just recently done that was copyright strike by YouTube and taken down in the middle of his life. Let's just see. I don't know one thing, I got a whole bunch of crazy ass motherfucking um, inboxes today after I made a uh, statement of telling people that we are the true Native Americans. We ain't fucking black or we ain't from Africa. I got all these motherfucking religious politician motherfuckers, whatever you want to call them, all in my goddamn inbox trying to drop me stupid ass uh, information about they uh, opinion about things, which I can give a fuck about. Now, who was it that just did a live a few weeks ago? That YouTube snatched right midstream. What was it about? Showing a documentary about how the black people in America are originally the Native Americans. Sound familiar? Wiring minds want to know. <laughs> 